This week's highlights include a lunar eclipse and space station flybys. First up, early Saturday morning, there'll be a partial lunar eclipse that will be visible low in the western horizon for anyone living west of Winnipeg all the way to Vancouver. As Earth's long shadow falls across the moon, the part of the shadow will turn dark. It will look as though a chunk were missing from the moon. The best part of the eclipse begins when the moon first touches the dark inner part of the shadow around 3.17 a.m. Pacific time. Now the eclipse reaches its peak about 80 minutes later and ends with the moon exiting the Earth's shadow at around 6 a.m. Now on average there are two or three lunar eclipses every year and they occur when the alignment of the sun, earth and full moon are just right so that the moon passes right through earth's shadow. If the shadow completely engulfs the moon that's what we call a total lunar eclipse and there'll be one of those in December with all of Canada having front row seats for that one. Second big night sky event is this weekend and throughout next week try and grab the next clear night and head outside to watch the International Space Station. Now just look for a bright star in the skies above that races across the sky in about two to four minutes and you'll have plenty of opportunity to see it because it'll be orbiting once every 90 minutes. So in fact you may be able to see two or maybe even three flybys above your backyard on any one clear night. If you'd like more information of stargazing events, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.